Hi everybody, today I will show you how to edit checkout page fields in WooCommerce. So let's begin. Alright, so to edit the checkout fields, the first thing that we need to do is to install the plugin. So for that, we have to go inside the plugins and click on add new plugin. Okay, so here what we need to do, we have to search for checkout field editor. Okay, so we have to install this plugin. So let's click on install now. And after this, we have to click on activate. Alright, so now first I will simply refresh the page. Okay, so now before editing our checkout field, first I'm going to go into my store. Just to show you how our checkout page is looking right now. What kind of the fields that we have there. Let's just click on proceed to checkout. Alright, so these are the checkout fields that we have in our checkout page. So now we're going to go back into our WordPress dashboard. And here you will be able to see in the WooCommerce, you will be able to see checkout form. So we have to click on this. All right. So in here we have the four different options. So first one is the checkout fields. Second one is the advanced settings and then the premium features and the other free plugins. So we only have to focus on our first option here, which is checkout fields. So in the checkout fields, as you can see here, I can add a new field. If I wanted to, I can delete, I can remove, enable and disable the current existing fields. Okay. So right now, what I want to do here, I'll just simply click on my first name on the edit. Okay, so now you can see the option here, which I can edit from here. So I can edit the first name. So I can edit the label here. I can add the placeholder here. I can add the default value here and also can change the class here. And after this, we have the validation. Okay. So here you can see here in the validation, we have the different options, whether you are validating this by email, phone number, post code, state number or the URL. So here I'm going to simply add the placeholder text. So I'm going to write down, enter your first name here and we can also pass the default value if you wanted to. And here we have the two options. So if you want to make this a required field, which is already by default, so you will simply keep this value, but if you want to make it as an optional you will simply have to uncheck this okay but right now i'm gonna simply click on save and close so now i'm gonna go back to our checkout page right now you can see here on our first name we don't have any placeholder text but if i refresh the page now you'll be able to see our placeholder text here okay so similarly if i wanted to disable any field here i can also do this for the company i don't really need this and after this we have the country field so in the country field, as we are only working on a single country, so we can also disable this. So let's check this from here and now click on disable and now click on save changes. Perfect. Now, if I go back here into the checkout, you will be able to see that we are having company name and the country. But if I refresh the page now, you will be able to see that we simply disable the company and the country field. Okay. So now we're going to go back. So let's see what else we can do here. Okay. So you can see here we are having the billing address here. We have the billing address one and the two. And after this, we have the city and the state. And we have the email, phone number, and the postcode. Okay. So I'm just having a scenario here that my e commerce business is basically based on cash on delivery. So most probably I won't be needing the email here. So that is why what I can do here, I can simply make this as an optional thing. So for that, I will just simply click on edit and uncheck the required field from here and save and close. And I can also add the placeholder in the default value. Similarly, just like the other options. So right now, let's just click on save and close. Perfect. Click on save changes again. All right. So now let's go into our checkout page and refresh the page. And now you will be able to see that on our email address, we are having the optional text, which simply means that this field is an optional field. Okay. And if I can go back now. All right. So I think we have basically covered mostly. And okay. One thing that we can do here. So let's just say that I wanted to put my first name and the last name on the new line, not on the same line. So what we can do here, I can go back to our dashboard and here let's just click on the edit. And here you can see the option of class. So if I wanted to cover all the space on that particular column, I would just go for the form draw. So I will just simply remove this first from here and save and close. Similarly, I would do the same thing for the last name. 
So this is the last. So I just need to remove the last from here. Save and close. And now I'll just go back into our checkout field. Refresh the page. Now you'll be able to see that our first name and the last name are on the new line. So similarly, if you want to use the two columns, then what you can do here, you will just reverse the process here. Okay. So what you'll basically do, you'll basically add first here and save and close. And the second one, you basically add last here. Okay. So let's click on save and close. So this will do the job for us. So we're going to go back again, refresh the page. We will have our first name and the last name of the same raw here. Okay. So now we're going to go back and here you can also add a new field if you wanted to. So let's click on the add field. And here you can see this, we can select the type here. So we can go here, let's say uh, with the number. And here I can simply add the name uh, based on my field that I wanted to add. So let's just say that I wanted to add the mobile number. And here I can add the label mobile. And here we're going to have the placeholder. So this will be enter your mobile number. And after this, we have the default value, but I'm going to keep it like this. So let's just click on save and close. Okay. So here, what I need to do, I have to do the underscore here and it should start with, okay. So now I think it will work fine. So I also have to change the capital letters into the lowercase. Okay. So let's go here with the mobile only. So let's click on save and close. And now what we need to do, I think we can go back into the checkout field. Let's just refresh the page. And now you'll be able to see that we are having our new field here, which is the mobile. So we can enter our mobile number here. And in the last, we also have this additional field. So if I just click on this, and if I wanted to edit this order comments or anything, I can simply do this from here. So similarly, the way that we have already done here, so we can simply click on the edit and you can see that we can edit the values from here. Okay. So this is how we can customize our checkout page in the WooCommerce. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.